myself. Um, what we have here, the start of a new, or probably will be a small series, as I know we've got a couple of activities. Basically, it's the Ukraine, it's Kiev. I've been invited to come here for a meeting tomorrow, but uh, today our colleagues in the Ukraine have kindly offered things like a, a tour and a meal, so it was worth coming early. Some nice cloud formations out there on the window. Very interesting looking ones. So we're now just coming into land actually. It's Appearances of the black tables there, which uh, is perhaps opposite, bearing in mind that the food in the Ukraine is, is very good. So we're just coming into land in Kiev. In a moment, no doubt, we'll pass through the clouds, as usually involves a, a slight bumpiness. Big enough to be the same one. 
here we have Oxbow Lakes in the process of formation. If anybody's learning about Oxbow Lakes in school, then you can see there a very good example of almost seeing if it wasn't for the clouds in the way. Very interesting vegetation as well growing in those um, in these rivers that are, that are stuck that they look like from here. They look for all the world, world like huge water lilies, but they can't obviously, obviously an individual water lily leaf wouldn't be visible, so I assume it's clumps of, uh, of blanket weed. Or colonies of rickia. better view of the uh, Ukrainian steppe. There's a step out there, there's probably a step behind me. There might be two steps here and one step behind me, so that's a case of two steps forward, one step back, which is very common in Eastern Europe. Um, since the changes. crop circles that are not circular. Um, so interesting meanderings going on of the stream probably leading into that uh, river that we just saw. See, the way that it meanders is interesting and there's no shortage of the old lake on the landscape here. Some nice some nice tree, what you might call copses of trees together. Now Ukraine, Ukraine was under the... Interesting, somebody's still walking around in the plane. Even though it's long, long, long uh, past the point where we all ought to be sitting with our seat belts on and everything. That's an interesting way that the steam is coming off there, isn't it? I wonder what caused that. Is something overheated inside the... Uh, Aircraft for that to be doing that. I can't really understand why it's doing it. It's not something I've seen before. Smoke coming off there. No, but it doesn't mean that one of the engines is burning. That wouldn't be very nice. Maybe it's a chemtrail. of passenger aeroplanes, but you never know, maybe there's a certain urgency to it now and, uh, and they're doing off whatever they can find. This obviously looks like the perimeter to an airport, so uh, maybe I won't film this bit because you never know how sensitive people might be in the Ukraine, I don't know, it's not the European Union, so one has to give it a little bit of extra leeway, I think.